What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back again with more diecast today. We have the two brand new 2021 five packs from Hot Wheels. The first one is the new Hot Wheels Sports. Very cool packaging, updated for 2021. And the second is probably going to be a very hot five pack this year. Um, it is the new Hot Wheels Fast and Furious five pack. Um, great new packaging. The, I just found these today at Target. I I didn't even know this was going to be in stores yet, so um, I was kind of surprised to see it. And then I went on eBay just to see if um, there were any on eBay, and there are a few, and they seem to be selling um, in access of fifteen to twenty dollars. So I don't know. It's probably just the initial hype, but this is probably going to be pretty hot. People love that Evo casting, especially because it was. Uh, yeah, this is Officer Brian O'Connor. So be on the lookout for that but i want to open both these today because these like the sports one this sold me oh my gosh this baseball livery on this uh drag mustang is so dope and the um hot wheels like factory pedaled like the cycle team looks cool too so these have really bad glare on them because they're plastic fronted so uh, opening them will give us a better look at it too so i'll go ahead and do the sports one first and then if you're looking for these um, this is what the sides look like because I know it's easier to look down the sides and pick them out. So the new Fast and the Furious has this red with a background and the other ones are blue or gray, I think. And then that says Hot Wheels Sports. So cool. Let's do it. So I don't know if you guys are on TikTok, but I post a lot to TikTok now because Instagram has been sucking a lot recently and they're not showing like posts to as many people. So if you're on TikTok, I do a ton of um, quick one minute videos on there. My um, username, I'll put it on the screen right here, is Samtastic, huh? So um, if you want, follow me over there. I still post to Instagram, but I have a lot more fun on TikTok, so I like posting there. So let's take a look at these beasts. So man, this is so cool. Um, this is a great looking casting. I'm gonna bump it up so you can see that, like the livery on this car a little better. Very cool um, baseball thing. This is so, like the colors are so clean. Let me see if it says it. Um, I believe this is the 71. The one thing I don't like about the new five packs is they don't put what cars they are anywhere on the packaging. Um, this has a cool like arena like banners for the cars, but they don't tell what they are. Um, so I believe this is the 71 Mustang funny car, which is why there's a 71 on it. Oh, sorry. Um, but this is probably one of the cooler ones in the pack just because I really like the um, paint job on it. The one thing about this casting is it used to be an opening casting, like it used to pop up, but now um, it's a fixed casting and it feel like this feels really cheap because there's not a lot to it because even the base is open now and it looks like a drag car which is the point but it, i would prefer that it opens obviously but still a very rad looking car I'm like look how sick that is hot wheels very cool okay the next one is the hot wheels sports it's like a it looks like a basketball court i think it's a 68 el camino yeah 68 el camino it's the one with the engine in the back just a, a, kind of a nice paint job um i like that it looks like it has basketball like wood paneling on it i think that's pretty cool um if this was a single would i buy it oh uh, probably i like the delivery enough on it i would buy it same with the mustang so this one is the i can't remember what the name of this one is um but they've used it for sports they use it for the world cup one i believe so this i don't think this is the first time this one has had a soccer livery on it but that is really cool like it has soccer balls on each end and then the pitch like the field it looks really cool uh, from above it it doesn't even look like a car it just looks like a, a artistic soccer like field with soccer balls on it so um this is a kind of an odd one i don't hate it though they did a really nice job on it um i know this one won't be for everyone but look how cool that is though they did a pretty good job on it so that was just like a hot wheel sports proper football here's the american football version um i like this because it's does it have a metal body it feels plastic it is metal. It feels plastic, though. Um, oh, let me make sure. There it is. I like the wheels. It's got a nice, like, tear football. A really, like, I don't know if I've seen this color on another Hot Wheel before, but it is really nice. It's like a, it is like a glossy primer, but it has metallic in it at the same time. It's really cool. I don't know if I've seen it on anything else. If you, if you recognize this color for any, anything else or it's on other cars, let me know because it is really cool. Um, I like this casting though. I can't, I'm totally blanking on what it's called. It's nitro something, but it has awesome, like the chrome looks great on it. So I like the, like the dirt kind of wheels on it. 
Would I buy this one? Eh, maybe, just because I like the gray color. So on to the fifth one, the factory pedal team, like cycle team. This is so cool. This one I absolutely would buy if it was just in a main line. Let's see if we can, there we go. This looks awesome. So it has gray wheels, if you can see. Um, it's a dark blue color. It's got orange. Uh, yeah, it does have yellow. T I thought it was um, clear windows and it was just reflecting, but there are like yellow tinted windows with orange plastic, the orange bikes orange interior but like look how cool the graphics are on that factory team very nice i like the hot wheels logo i like like the gear and the chain it almost looks like it's actually going around the rear tire which is kind of cool i like this one a lot really like this so this one and the the baseball one are my two favorites from that one so let me know in the comments what are your favorites because these are you know everyone's got a favorite sport so it might depend it like if you're a soccer fan you might like that one better so not too bad a good start so this one um a lot of people complain about hot wheels fast and furious and them like milking the license because they do make so many of them and it's i don't even care that they make so many of them but i care that they make so many of them repeatedly like i know this is one of the main character cars in fast and furious but we've seen this torino like nine times and i do not like uh, let's see another car from the movie like the gt40 we've seen and a ton too the evo we've seen a few times the tokyo drift 350z seen it a few times even the impala just came out what was that like two years ago we've already seen it like three or four times so like i know the supra we've seen a lot too but it would be nice to get like an og dollar five pack like the supra eclipse the s14 the, well, I can't even remember what the other one is. The R33, the Jetta, like that would be just a dope, dope five pack. Like I would buy, like that, that would be such an awesome five pack. So my guess is this one is gonna be hot because of the Evo, because people really like the Evo. Um, I, myself, I, I like the car in the movie. I just wish Hot Wheel had a different casting. Like this is one of the castings I would like for them to redo because it's not, it's, it's okay for when it was made, but now they're capable of making just a lot better casting. So it would be cool to see them actually make like a proper Evo like that. But this one, unlike the basketball one, this does have the name of all the cars going down and it has the name of what movie um, the cars are from. So that I do like. So here's the 61 Impala from the Fate of the Furious. This is, I think this was in the, um, not Mexico scene, where were they, Cuba? I can't remember what scene. This is a good looking car. If this was a dollar car, just not even Fast and Furious, I think it would sell well because it just, the like the bubble top on it looks really nice and it has good wheels. So this is a solid buy, no matter if you're a Fast and Furious fan or not, because it's just a, it just a classic Chevy in red and silver. It just looks really nice. So side tampos are nice. It says Impala, it's got that stripe. Very cool. Worth a dollar? Yes. Really like that. So here's the GT40. They pull off the train in Fast Five. Um, they have done this casting, I'm going to say at least four times. Um, each time it's had a little bit different color, and I think it's had different wheels as well. I have so many of them, it's hard to keep them, keep track of them at this point. Um, but this to me is one of the better looking ones. The paint is not the best on the nose there. Um, but even, even if you're not a Fast and the Furious fan, like I said, this is a good GT40 casting for a dollar, and it looks good in these colors. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the PR5s, but I, I mean, it looks good. If this was a dollar car, I would still buy it because it looks good. So, boom, on to the next one. This stupid Torino, the 72 Torino uh, from Fast and Furious, like Fast 4. It, it's cool. I like it. The, the car in the movie is fine, but they have done it so many times and it doesn't it, it, like all both of these just don't scream Fast and the Furious to me. Like we've just seen it so many times that this casting, I'm over it. Like especially in the same green, I, they've changed the wheel a few times. They've changed the green color as well. This one has a chrome interior. So, I mean, it's fine. Would I buy this for a dollar? No, because I'm so sick of seeing it. That is one casting in the Fast and Furious line I do not want to see anymore. The next one, the Evo from Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, like I said, this is a good car. Like, this is going to be the one that people buy for in the in the drift, the Tokyo Drift car. Um, 
the livery looks good on it. I like that it has a roll cage. Um, I just, it's just not my favorite casting. It almost looks rally car-ish because I believe it was, uh, they have released it in rally car livery a few times. And that's why the, like, the race stuff is on the top. Um, I think, I can't remember if I had a scoop in the, in the movie or not, but I don't know what that little thing is right there. Um, cool casting though. They, they nailed the color. They, it looks good. The wheels on it look good. I just wish the casting was a little bit better shaped. It's, to me, it's too long and wide compared to a real Evo. So, the details are nice. It just needs rework. So, so that's like, uh, I would put that up for definitely um, for them to, uh, to do a retool on. Would I buy that for a dollar? Yes, because I bought it for a dollar before. Um, and then the last one, the Tokyo Drift 350Z. This is a good looking car. Um, they have, they really did nail like the look of it. It's an older casting. What is this like 2006, 2005? It's older, but it still works. I mean, it's a little dated. That like to me, the front of it is a little dated. But I mean, so is the movie. So this it doesn't look too bad for the for for it being a Tokyo Drift release. I it's pretty solid, especially for a dollar. Um, it's got the right like Beetle graphics on the one side, missing on the other because that's how it was in the movie. Um, black hood. Uh, to me, this is one of the better detailed. This and the Evo, like, you get your most for your dollar because this one has, to me, more tampo. So it has the silver, the black, the black, silver, silver, and red, where the other ones don't. Like, so what is that? One, two, three, three colors. So, well, four colors if you count the whole thing. So not a bad. It's a good way to spend a dollar. That's a solid one. Um, and they all roll really nice because they're dollar Hot Wheels. So... Um, I'm not going to put those on the turntable just because they've, they're they kind of, a lot of them are repeats except for the sports ones. But to me, these two, oh, sorry. Um, these two are probably the winners out of the bunch. I really like this one. But the the factory cycle team is a pretty solid one too. Oh, my bad. It's like not, come on, come on, focus. There it goes. Um, I like, really like both of these. So I think there's winners in each pack and there's losers in each pack. So now that you've seen them all, let me know in the comments which ones you like from each pack and which ones are your least favorite from each pack um, because I'd be interested in seeing that, hearing from you guys and seeing what your favorites are. So, so that was it for today. Pretty quick, not too bad. 10 cars in like 10 or 12 minutes, so not too bad. Um, thank you for watching. This is Sam from 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at 64 Wheels. Follow me on TikTok at Samtastic. Um, and be watching for more content coming soon. Thanks, guys.